Hello Capricorn. This is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with everyone, so keep that in mind. But this is for Capricorn. December 2018. The main energy is coming in for Capricorns. 2018. Hope everything's going okay with you guys. And we'll see what the incoming energy, the starting energy, I should say, is. Let's find out. Princess of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, not necessarily in that order, but they're there. And it also could be with the Princess of Wands, sort of like a page. It could be someone who's bringing in a pas passionate message also. So we will say, get on with the reading. This is going to be a full Celtic cross comprehensive Knight of Wands. Fire sign, like I said, <clears throat> Aries Leo Sagittarius was crossing it. An air sign, or someone taking on that energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Maybe two people at odds, two energies at odds with each other. I'll clarify these in a second. Your goal <clears throat> Excuse me. Your goal is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You may stop working on a situation. Or working is hard. I'm going to clarify that too. Foundation, possibly jumping into something new. The past, got that for somebody else. Another sign. Three of uh, Swords. May possibly overcome and pass sorrow. i got to clarify that too. In the near future, you're, you're not going to make a quick decision on something just yet. You're still pondering in the very near future. It also could be that you just refuse to make a decision on something. Or you may just drop two different situations altogether. You may just say, I'm not even dealing with this. Now I'm going to clarify with the other deck here, the smaller deck. Knight of Wands, Princess of Swords, why are you there for Capricorn? Why are you there? Someone's trying to manifest something. It's in the upright. So someone has the tools and knowledge to work something out to deal with the situation. But you're still, you got the Knight of Wands there. And you did have it, uh, uh, Princess of Wands earlier. So it could be like the same energy, the same person possibly. You got a lot of people around you. That's trying to pop out, and we let it come out. It's a water energy. That's trying to pop out, too. Passionate new beginnings. I'm thinking for some of you, you're wanting to start something new, because I see the full card there is starting something new. You're trying to manifest something, but not everybody's going to be 100% on board with it. At least one person is not. could be the air energy. Like I said, you got the magician card, someone who can manifest. That could be your energy. You're taking on that energy or the person around you. you got the Prince of Cups there, which is a water energy. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. With the Ace of Wands, a passionate beginning. Someone's offering something new, something exciting sometimes. Oh, interesting. Your goal is the Eight of Pentacles. That's someone usually not working on something. You may quit working on something else. But I need another card to know. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse there? Or Capricorn, December. That new idea is coming in. Three of Swords again. Jeez. Yeah, I think you're dropping the ball on a, a situation that brought some horror, um, heartbreak and sorrow. You may dro you're dropping something that is causing you Pain, emotional pain and mental pain. Can I get another card for the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords? That's the Y cards, the Three of Swords. Could be with the Air Energy, Princess of Swords. It could be the Air air Sign. Someone taking on an energy, like I said. Remember we had something like that earlier. She's right there. Could be... Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, like I said. 
but you may be stopping a third party situation. You may decide it's not working for you. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear that third party situation, but a lot of times the Three of Swords is associated with that. But it's also associated with heartbreak in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. But I do see more than one person in this reading. I see more than two people in this reading. Maybe even three. Now in the past, well, I'm going to get to the foundation first. Let's get to the news, the good news is that there is movement. There is new things coming. You're deciding, I'm going to step step out and do something totally new. So the Fool card, why are you there as the foundation? Fool card steps out in something new and doesn't care about anything. Doesn't, why? Because they didn't like what was offered in the past with the Four of Cups. Remember, this is a subject. This is the why. I call it, people call it the clarifier. I, like, I call it the why card. But the Four of Cups is there. It's not liking what was offered. Not accepting just anything either. And you're not even going to battle over it. You're just going to go ahead and do it. And it could be that because the reason why you were doing this, like I said, is because of arguments. You're just going to start out with something new. Cut something out possibly. But I did not get the death card, so I can't say that for sure. But I do see some aggressive behavior and arguments and you're not accepting just anything handed to you, you don't like it, and you're stepping out in something now. Three of Swords, in the past, reverse. So this situation that you didn't like, for some of you, for very few of you, it's a third party, or just sorrow, like I said. It's a past sorrow. It's already happened. Three of Swords, why are you there, in reverse, for Capricorn. cost you whatever. Ten of Pentacles. You didn't get your financial stability. It, and it cost you. It cost you. It set you back financially possibly. Can I get another card for Capricorn? Three of Swords and a Ten of Pentacles. Both in reverse in the past. Yeah, you weren't happy with this situation. It cost way too much of your life. Because that's a, a nine of cups in reverse. That's in the past. And that's why you're starting out in something new. You're no longer going to be working on whatever caused you sorrow and irritation. And like I said, it could have to do with the uh, princess of swords. You may be uh, stopping because of a third party situation. Or like I said, it could be just heartbreak that you were suffering. You decided you weren't going to work, have that in your life anymore. You weren't going to put your energy towards it. Now, we have the Two of Wands in the very near future. It is in reverse. Can I get another card for the Two of Wands in reverse for the very near future? Knight of Cups, again, the water energy. Hmm, you got to leave this in the comments. You got more, you got more than, like I said, a few people here. And um, you're not, you may get this offer. And i got to think about this. You may get this offer with this Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone taking on an energy. The Knight of Cups, I always like the Knight of Cups in the upright. Because they all, always offer positive things. Friendship, love, um, just enjoyment. They're fun and, and, and uh, very sincere. But for some reason you're not making a choice on them yet. Or that situation, whatever's being handed to you by that water energy. Can I get another card for the two of wands and the knight of cups <clears throat> it's like I, you're undecisive because you they got death in reverse you're still dealing with this you're still dealing with this it's still you're still lingering in your life whatever happened in the past you're letting it linger you're wanting to make this new beginning and it looks like you're going to jump out and do but you're carrying on the past with you you need to leave this behind and that's why you're not making a decision towards this individual. Because you're thinking, I've already been burned once. I'm not going to let it happen again for some of you. That's a possibility. Others are just, I mean, a lot of you are just hanging on to something that passed on. It could be that something else who tries to resurrect, and you may not look that way just yet. You may not be ready for it. 
remember we do have a uh, mercury and retrograde coming in or it is in and it's known to bring people around people making all kind of offers things get upset so keep that in mind when this is all going on that that will pass that energy and when you start off something new like I see here, the foundation of you're wanting to, but it may start some arguments because you may turn something else away. With that said, let's go on because we got the uh, distant future to take care of and what's coming towards you. Now, this is the advice card or the possible future outcome. We got the Seven of Swords. This is someone I'm like sneaky behavior sometimes or just someone flying under the radar don't want, not wanting everybody to know what they're doing. Sometimes there's a good reason for the Seven of Swords. Sometimes people have to get away quietly without anybody knowing. But it also could be the vice of the universe telling you be careful of sneaky people or things that are hidden from you that you don't know about. Someone may be talk, taking off with some of your stuff. It's almost, almost like a thievery card, you know? But it also could be, like I said, the universe, the universe could be telling you, keep things, lo you know, what do they call them, the down low. Don't tell everybody about yourself. Don't put yourself out there just yet. Good advice for Mercury and Retrograde, but let's find out more about this card. Seven of Swords, why are you there in the upright for, Cap I mean, oof, for Capricorn? Seven of Swords for Capricorn, why are you there? Prince of Disc in reverse. Yeah, you got a lot of people around you. Could be, like I said, an energy. This person that is attached to the Seven of Swords could be an Earth energy. Could be you trying to keep things hidden and not known. Or someone like you, a Capricorn. Another Capricorn, but this person is in reverse. Could be a Taurus or Virgo, too, for some of you. I need another card for the Seven of Swords and the Prince of Dis in reverse. Be careful if this is you, for very, very few of you, of doing something underhanded and sneaky, okay? Because it could come back and bite you in the, you know, in the ass, for real. But it also could be saying, watch out for other people because it gets you really turned around. But it also could be that you're worried about something, like I said, and trying to keep things hidden because you're upset. Can I get another card for the Seven of Swords and the Prince of Discs in reverse? Yeah, because you get set up for failure. Be careful of underhanded maneuvers. With yourself and other people around you. And don't do this, like I said, to do, don't do this to other people. Because it will be a failed situation. So if you got this on the table of something that's hidden, be careful with it. Be very, very careful with it. Because it's not going to work out, whatever it is. What you got coming towards you is someone not making any offers that are, that are, that are no good. They're not willing to make any offers right now. If it's a, about another person in your life, it's not like they're looking for other offers right now from other people. That's what I'm seeing. But it's a debauchery card in reverse. It's the Seven of Cups in reverse. For others, I think it's like the Luxury card. I'm not sure. may not be. But the Seven of Cups in reverse. Why are you there? Hierophant. This could be a marriage of some sort. This could be a spouse of yours or someone that is connected to you in family. The Hierophant, it's a status quo type card. It has to do with uh, ceremonies, rules and regulations of society, what is the norm. But what it's coming towards you is the Seven of Cups. It could be that these are just not really good offers. That's maybe contracts, or it could be that you feel that you don't have a lot of good options and you may have to take a contract because the Hierophant is about contracts also. 
whether it be, like I said, work or marriage or anything like that. Can I get another card for the Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Hierophant in the Upright for Capricorn? The Hierophant is in the Upright. You may be coming out of disappointment. You may be getting an offer that you think you may have no choice but to take. But it also is to help you come out of disappointment, possibly. And you may not be 100% happy with this offer, but it is a solid offer. I do not know what it is, because I am reading for the masses. This is not a private reading, and even in private readings, you know, I would have to ask the person, you know, are there any contracts coming their way? But also, like I said, be careful yourself. If this has anything to do with you, be 100% honest when you're filling out contracts, job offers, or anything like that. Because we don't, they'll find out about it. Okay? And to override this, you just go as honest as you possibly can. The real negative is that someone could be coming towards you this way. And the only thing is to be on your guard a little bit. Don't be so naive. Some of you may be. Not all of you, just a few of you. Now, your hopes and fears, you got the Five of Pentacles. That could be your hope is to come out of feeling abandoned, worried, um, not feeling 100% about your finances. Could be a lot of those things. But it's the Five of Pentacles is coming out of feeling left out or left out in the cold. And it could be anything from relationships to jobs or, you know, finances. Can I get another card for the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Remember, these are thoughts and feelings, more or less. Seven of Cups in reverse. You're worried about that Seven of Cups in reverse. That not a whole lot of options that you may have to take. And you may have to step up on it. You're afraid that you may have to put yourself out there. Some of you may be afraid to tell all about yourself. I feel that. You're wanting success. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You do regain strength in the end, and I am so happy about that. This is recovery. This is recovery. If you're sick, you're going to recover, possibly, for a few of you. If your energy is down, you're going to feel more strength after all this. So, let's see what's going on. I need another card for the strength card. In the upright. Ace of Cups. Whew, that's a good card. These two together. New offers are eventually coming. I know you're going through a lot of emotional situations. For some of you, this will be relationships. For others, this will just be, you know, personal relationships. I mean, intimate relationships. Others will be just basic family. Because there are a lot of people here. And others will be about a job. Education. Can I get another card for the Strength card and the Ace of Cups? That is absolutely wonderful. The end is good. We'll see if we can sum this up. Yeah, it's going to surprise you. It's going to leave you kind of surprised because you thought things are going to go really sour. I do see, like, the, like I said, a new beginning. You may not decide on this person here with a water sign that may try to resurrect itself. Or you just may cut it out altogether. You're just not ready. Not just yet, but you do get a passionate or a positive new offer, an emotional offer that's going to bring you strength. But it's also going to leave you um, a little unbalanced because you're not going to be expecting this. You're not going to be expecting this. It's a great offer, whatever it is. Trying to get it all together because you got a lot of people here. One more card, and then we're going to call this one. Don't worry about the past so much. Completion. Completion. I'm not worried about you. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you had it rough. You had a rough situation. You had a lot of people trying to tell you, trying to pull you in so many different directions. But you still have the manifestation here card there. Use it. Even though you had some heartbreak and you want to cut stuff out and starting a new beginning, arguments may occur because you're wanting to begin something that maybe others will not like. 
but you didn't like pass offers, something is coming your way towards a contract that you may not trust. You may not feel like you have a choice, though. Be wary of sneaky behavior. I know that's a terrible word to use for the Seven of Swords, but that's what it's about. It's about leaving things un, you know, hidden, like I said, because it will end in failure. So always be honest with yourself and other people around you. There's nothing no wrong, I don't see, with you putting yourself out there. You know, I mean, keeping yourself hidden a little bit. You don't want to put yourself out there to the world because of sneaky situations. But just take, just think to yourself beforehand what could occur that's around you that's not quite <clears throat> right, okay? But in the end, look for the end. Go for the end. But no matter what's going on here, regain your strength. Take that positive emotional offer. That will surprise you, but it will bring completion and, you know, success and happiness in your life, in your house home, in your house. And like I said, the Ace of Swords is there. It's the final energy, cutting things out and bringing in new things, the things you want and, and having your truth and say. So things are looking up even though it had a rough start. Okay? That is your reading, Capricorn, and I will upload this as soon as I can. Bye.